Hey guys, what's up? Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about the prices of health insurance here in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, how much it costs and uh, how much the cost varies. Uh, for me personally, when I first came to Japan, I was just a student, so I wasn't actually making any income. And uh, for me, the price at that time, it was um, I had to pay once a month. And for me, the price as a student was 4000 which was it? I have it written down here, 4,470 yen a month. So that's, in American dollars, that's, uh, at this time, right now, it's about maybe $45, roughly, ballpark, $45 a month. But uh, the thing is, uh, if you start working, that price, it will go up. But the thing about the health insurance system here in Japan is that if your income goes up, your the prices of the health insurance won't be uh, changed until a year after so for example let's just say uh, let's just say the year is uh, 2015 say 2015 15 you start working so in 2015 you'll still have um, you'll still have a health insurance bill of uh, about 45 bucks a month and that'll be it for the first year. So, say 2015, you start working, your health insurance is $45 a month, and then in 2016, you're still at the same job, you're working uh, the same job, same pay, same everything. But this time, uh, since it's the new year, the, your current um, health insurance prices is based off your income from the previous year, which is 2015. So for me personally, that income, the way um. I was taxed personally was uh, I was taxed about um, a little over four percent, like four point one five percent of my total income per month. So, for example, like uh, let if you want to calculate your own, well, what you would do is just uh, total up everything that you that you earned throughout the year uh, before taxes, everything before taxes, and then multiply that value by 0 0.0415 and then that is the price that you're going to pay for health insurance each month well that's how it was for me at least it might change ver depending on the uh, amount that you made or probably like the place that you lived within Tokyo I'm guessing it would change based on the prefecture that you're in but for me that's how much it was and um, yeah so that's the thing and also, just uh, something to be careful of, if you do plan to come to Japan and start working, one thing to make sure is that if you stop working for a year, your health insurance prices, it'll still be based off your previous year's income, so it's still going to be high. So like if you worked in 2015, and you made a lot of money, and then you said, oh in 2016, you know what, I'm not going to work at all. But the thing is, in 2016, you're still going to be paying those um, high, uh, that high price for health insurance since you worked, since you actually made money in the previous year. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have anything, any questions related to health insurance in Tokyo, feel, please feel free to ask. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.